Where to find wholesaling real estate contracts that actually work. What is up guys, Zach in here. And in today's video, I wanna share with you exactly how to get real good contracts, how to understand how these contracts work and how you can be as successful as possible in your virtual wholesaling and your wholesaling real estate business. Guys, the one thing I can tell you right now is most gurus, influencers out here that have their free contracts out here, you know, a lot of these contracts out here are absolutely terrible and they're not going to give you the best results. So that's why I want to do is just show you where to find the best contracts and actually how to use them because I don't think a lot of wholesalers really understand this. And when you're going into an illegally bonding contract, you got to understand how this works. So the first and foremost thing you got to understand about contracts is like, what is a contract, right? So in the wholesaling real estate process, we basically agree to buy somebody's property. We put that property under contract. Then we sell that contract. We are in the business in wholesaling real estate of selling paper. So you got to understand how that paper works, right? Like Michael Scott knows how paper works, right? So the two things about contract, there's two contracts in wholesaling real estate, and I'm going to give to you absolutely for free. Like I'm going to give you the entire process. I'm going to give you the entire contract for free absolutely right now. So number one, first and foremost, you got to understand is the purchase and sale agreement. Now, if you want to get my free real estate contracts, just go to freewholesaling.com. That is my free real estate wholesaling course. Now, the purchase and sale agreement is us basically agreeing to purchase the property. There's three key tenants and key important things every good real estate wholesaling contract needs. And we're going to break this down. So the purchase and sale agreement, we need, first of all, legality. So that's why a lot of guru courses, they're not looked over by lawyers. They're not looked over by real title companies. Guys, I've done thousands of real estate wholesaling deals. I have tens of thousands of students using this contract that actually closed with this contract at freewholesaling.com, a real legitimate wholesaling real estate deal. So you know, if tens of thousands of people are actually using this contract, they're working in all 50 states you're going to be fine. Okay, guys. And they got to work for virtual wholesaling real estate too. So the person sale agreement, first of all, needs the legality, right? They actually need to legally work, right? So if I actually go and put this property under contract, if I have to go to the court, this is a legal contract. If I go to a title company, they're like, yeah, this is a legit contract, right? That's the first thing. That's why at freewholesaling.com. So if you want to find a good real estate wholesaling contract, or if somebody sends you a contract, you got to look at this, right? So remember guys, freewholesaling.com, that's where you get my free contract. That's the best one. But legality, you want lawyers to look it over. You want the title company to look it over and make sure it's legit, right? Quick tip, when you do get a purchase and sale agreement, I am telling you right now, I 100% recommend you bring that to your title company or if you're an attorney, state to your attorney and see if they're okay with it. Most attorneys just want to look it over. Or title companies want to look it over. Oh, change just one thing. Usually what title companies say, the worst thing is when you get a contract and the title company says we can't accept that contract. You can stop that objection by absolutely just going and looking at the contract with the title company to be good. Number two here is just making sure the contract's easy. What I mean by that is it's easy to read. So if I go to a seller and I try to put a property under contract and it's like a 15 page contract with all this legal jargon, that's really confusing. Your seller's not going to want to deal with you because John over here is a quick three page contract. That's actually really easy for me to understand guys. A lot of, you know, doing the right thing in wholesaling is I don't want somebody to sign something that I don't agree with. Right? So like if I have like a 50 page terms and conditions of like a website, I'm just going to scroll through, scroll, 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 and then just click and then agree to it. Right. Even though I don't even know, I, I could have sold my dog. Okay. I don't even know what those things say. Right. You need, and if you go to court or like you get in trouble legally, it's like, well, that person, they didn't understand what they were signing because it was too confusing for them. And, you know, legally you're right. You're in the right if you have that 15, 30 page contract, but you want to make it easier because the harder the contract is usually the more legally binding it is, but you've got to understand the more complicated the contract like that, the more chance the seller's not going to sign it. And if you're doing virtual wholesaling where you're sending something up and it's over email, you want them to trust you, make it understanding. If you have a nice, simple contract where both parties understand it, where even like a eighth grader can understand what you're agreeing to or what you're signing. That's important guys. Like I, I don't want sellers to be confused over the process and make it confusing guys. They're selling the deal to you for the speed and convenience of you buying the property. So why are you going to make the contract super complicated? That's why I have a very, very legally binding contract. That's only two pages long. That's really easy for the seller read to read. So if you're doing virtual wholesaling, you have the best chance possible of actually closing that deal. Last but not least, you want that contract to be assignable. Guys, I have an entire line in my free wholesaling.com contract where it basically states that this property, this contract can be assignable. So this property, when I put it under contract, can be assignable. It's literally on there. It's really simple. It's literally like 
it's very black and white there. And so you have full intention. So if you're in a state where you have to disclose that you may assign it or yet you're assigning it, that literally puts it right there. So you're in the right there. So it's like a no brainer sellers like, Oh yeah. I mean, maybe assign it to your other company, something like that, or to your cash partner. It's perfect. Right. Number two, here's the assignment of contract. So when I put that property under contract, what I do on that purchase and sale agreement is I put my earnest money deposits all in my freeholding.com contract and then I have to sell it to the cash buyer. So when I sell that piece of paper, I wrote to buy the property, the assignment of contract, that is what it's called. So the assignment of contract is me basically selling my original contract, the purchase and sale agreement. And those need about three things right here. First of all, legality. First of all, just making sure that is legal. What I'm doing, I'm assigning the contract the right way. It's legal. It's all up, up. It's all in the up and up and it's all good. Number two here, most importantly, so you don't get screwed guys. I've seen so many cash buyers screw wholesalers over because they don't use my contract. That's why I got to go to freeholstling.com download my free assignment of contract so you can actually sell your contract legally. So the reason why I tell everyone to use my assignment of contract is if a cash buyer decides to screw you over, guess what? You have a lot of random ramifications. You can get probably two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 of their earnest money you actually keep to yourself because it's explicitly stated in that assignment of contract that it is yours if the se- if the cash buyer decides to basically screw you or not do anything with the written notice or if they sign that assignment of contract that's a non-refundable earnest money deposit guys it protects you so much i'm telling you guys you need to start doing this uh, the next one last but not least is you want to make sure the title company accepts it some assignment contracts are so weird that some title companies don't accept it but actually, if you do it the right way, if you go to freeholcing.com, use that contract, you're going to be fine. So guys, that's how you find contracts. So what I want to do right now is actually show you how these contracts work and actually show you what my freeholcing.com contract looks like so you have a better understanding of it. So let's get into it. All right, guys, here we are in freeholcing.com right here. And all we're basically going to do and all we're basically going to go is go to wholesaling foundations and click all the way here to wholesaling contracts explained. I'm going to scroll down here and just click right here on click below for free contract. Click this button right here and we're going to move right here, which basically I just put in my email. I'm going to send and I'm going to get sent the contract right here. Very easy and simple. And then boom, you get my free real estate wholesaling contract. Now from here, you're going to get this email to you. So the first thing you got to understand about my contract is right here in yellow. It's actually going to be a legal disclaimer for me. And yes, this is technically a, an example document for you. That's what my lawyer says. A lot of people go here, they just can delete it. And then from there, actually change it the way they want, right? You just click here and they can delete it and then start changing it from wherever you want. Uh, for this example, for my attorneys and stuff, I'm going to leave, leave this disclaimer on here. Uh, but really, this is what a standard purchase and sale agreement looks like. Uh, I make it very simple for you guys so you understand it the right way. This is agreement is made on, put the date there, guys. I put I go through at freelsting.com actually how to fill it out the right way. I kind of go in there, guys. It takes about an hour to really share what everything really means, right? Uh, for deposit, like about 100 bucks on there. That's my earnest money, right? You put the closing date on here. This is all legal jargon for you to protect yourself. I definitely recommend you read it out. Again, legally, you should go through right here and use this as an example for your own. Uh, but for most people, they just kind of download this and kind of use it as a cookie cutter one for them. Sometimes they change a couple of stuff on there. As long as the title company is okay with it, you should always look through this contract with their title company and get basically their permission to use it. And if it's good to go, you're good to go with it, right? Basically right here, number eight, just understand that this contract is assignable. So this contract is assignable by the buyer. That's pretty much as disclosure-esque as you can on it of just showing that you are wholesaling it but without making it screaming it out there you know it's pretty much good right this is number nine your inspection period your quote unquote get out of jail free clause right basically says here you know buyer shall have how many certain days uh, from effective date the inspection period within which to have such inspections of the property performed as buyer shall desire and utility services shall be made available by the seller during the inspection period, B, buyer shall be responsible for prompt payment for such inspections and repair of damage and to restoration of the property resulting from such inspections. If the buyer determines, if buyer's sole discretion, that the condition of the property is not acceptable to the buyer. Guys, this is very important. Let me say this one more time. If buyer determines, if in buyer's sole discretion that the condition of the property is not acceptable to the buyer, buyer may cancel this contract by delivering written notice of such election to seller prior to the expiration of the inspection period. You can basically get out of it with your sole discretion of the inspection. If buyer timely cancels this contract, the deposits go back to the buyer, immediately return to the buyer. Thereupon, buyer and seller shall be released of all further obligations of this contract. 
then from there, you basically put the seller and the buyer right there and you're good to go. That's two. Co that's basically two pages on there. Very quick, efficient, very easy for anyone really to read on there. It's not really too confusing, but it is very legal and good. This is the assignment of contract. You just click here and kind of make it go down a little more. Just click enter, enter, you're good to go. This basically shows that you are assigning it to the assignee and the assignee is basically the cash buyer buying it. More or less on here, it's basically showing how much your assignment fee is gonna be, your purchase price, how much on top of that they agree to, where the closing date has to be, right? Five o'clock is usually when most title companies end, so they gotta put it in by that time, right? If the assignee fails, basically they lose their earnest money on there. Uh, you're pretty much good to go in this contract. It's, it's, a lot of it's very plug and, pe plug and play. Make sure the title company's okay with it, but really, it basically protects you, right? The property sold as is, so the cash buyer can't go and try to sue you. You have all everything you really need for these contracts, so you're as legally protected as possible. I think a lot of gurus don't do it the right way, and this gives you justice for wholesaling real estate. So guys, I just want you guys to understand this, that like in wholesaling real estate, your contracts are gonna be super important to your success. And that's honestly what I'm gonna tell you right here. So guys, if you got any value from this video, do me a big favor, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Get my free contract right now at freeholsting.com, guys. I'm telling you right now, if you go to freeholsting.com, you're gonna get my exact contract. This one I just showed to you absolutely for free. Go right here to freeholsting.com and I'll see you guys soon. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe and have a blessed one, guys. Thank you.